What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. So I got some new products I want to talk to you guys about that Ryobi is coming out with. And uh, I figured we'd go through them and check them out. So first up that I've seen here is, is this new compact blower. So this looks like a handheld compact bolt blower. It's 18 volt, 1 plus. It is an HP. So it's pretty nice. But this is going to be 220 CFM. This is the blower kit, so it will come with a 4 amp hour battery, I think. But I was looking at this, and I was trying to figure out if this is something that would be useful that I might add to my Ryobi tool collection. And I'm not sure if I would. So 220 CFM, not too bad. I actually did a review on a couple regular standard hand blowers. This is one of them right here. And this one you can pick up for $99. This is the cheapest model you can get from a Ryobi and this is pumping out 200 CFM and it's at 98 miles per hour. Now I've used this, I still use it um, and it's not a bad blower actually. So this one's pumping out 220 CFM at 140 miles per hour of power. So nice little upgrade I guess but I just don't know if this is something that's worth the extra purchase if you already have a blower. The way they're marketing this is that it's 45% more compact, so it's easier to get into tighter areas. You guys see this guy's cleaning out the bed of his truck. Um, I've done this with a regular blower before, so I'm not too sure if this is something that's really going to replace a regular leaf blower. It comes in at 4 pounds, so nice and light, compact, so that's kind of what they're going after with this newer model of the blower but this is one of the newer tools that Ryobi is coming out with so not really sure what the price point for this is going to come in at I think the biggest thing with this one is obviously it being compact lightweight easy just to maneuver around in tight areas not really sure if this is going to have a place in my garage probably not I'll probably pass on this one but let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section below Another coming soon is this 18 volt one plus heat pen kit. Um, this is another one that I'll probably pass on, $99 for this. It's got dual temperature settings, compact design for precise applications, you know, but like right here, they've got some hobby work going on, scraping some paint. I could see myself using it for shrink tubing on some wire. If I'm wearing some car audio in my car or rewiring something, I just pick up a heat gun or a torch and I just use that. Uh, so I don't see this being another product I probably pick up, but might be some better uses out of it for other people. Comes with two amp hour battery, deflector nozzle, spreader nozzle. So. Another product that I'll probably pass on this one. So good for adhesive removal, heat transfer. Like I said, this is probably the main reason I would use it is this heat shrink tubing, paint stripping, but not really sure if this is something I would get. Probably not, especially for a hundred bucks. This dropped down a little bit, maybe, but I, I highly doubt it. I got a heat gun that I use and kind of serves the purpose. So Ryobi's getting into the solar panels. So this is a newer product by Ryobi, 60 watt foldable solar panel. So it's got the USB-A, USB-C already built into it. You know, you can pair it with the Ryobi inverters, stuff like that. $249 for this. And um, this is probably another product I'm going to have to pass on. Uh, reason being is category of product is kind of flooded already. Um, Ryobi's a little bit late to the game with this. Uh, I'm a huge fan of EcoFlow, their solar panels and their power stations. And EcoFlow is one of the top brands that you can purchase from when it comes to solar panels and power stations. But if you look here, they got the EcoFlow. I'm on Amazon right now. 60 watt portable solar panel. This is going for $139. You know, even without the 30% off, it's $199. And, you know, there's the foldable design. Really nice and portable, as you guys can see. Uh, but, yeah, i probably pass on that, and I would pick up a more reputable brand that's been in the market for a while at a cheaper price. 
So 249, kind of expensive in my opinion. I would pass on that. Now here is a product that I'm actually really interested in. It's the 40 volt HP kinetic log splitter. This is the kit, um, $999 it says for this. Does it have the tool only price? No, nope, no tool only price. But thousand bucks for this. So this is pretty nice. 12 tons of splitting force out of a battery operated log splitter. I'm um, pretty impressed when I seen that. And then also 150 splits per charge, more power than an 80cc gas log splitter. Comes with the 4 amp hour battery and charger. So I'm assuming the 150 splits are off just the 4 amp hour battery, which isn't bad because I actually purchased an electric log splitter for my off grid cabin. And I end up getting this Yard Max. This is a six and a half ton, 15 amp log splitter. And I run a generator to this, and this pulls probably about 2,000, about 2,000 watts because it, my 2,400 watt generator sometimes clips out when I use this. You know, 329 for this, a little bit cheaper, but this you got to plug in. And then if you're looking at a gas log splitter, I mean, the gas log splitters are a lot more expensive unless you're buying it used. So this is going to be something that I keep an eye on. And I might add this one to my Ryobi tool collection because I can see this being really useful in my scenario. Introducing the world's first core log splitter. Experience increased speed and more power than an 80cc gas log splitter. Tearing through hardwood logs 10 times faster with 12 tons of force in just two seconds. Effortlessly achieve over 150 splits per charge without the hassle of gas or cords. The Ryobi 40 volt HP kinetic log splitter. Powerful, innovative, and convenient. So as you guys see, they're kind of cool. Definitely going to be interested in this one. Uh, like I said, I'll give it a little while. See if it goes on sale. And uh, keep an eye on some of the reviews to see what people are saying about it but definitely a looker in my book now here's another product that I'm probably going to be interested in it's the 18 volt a one plus jump starter and this is the kit so the tool only they got a price on that nope not a price on that or the kit but this one's pretty impressive also jump starts up to a 6.0 liter v8 engine and then it says up to 20 jump starts per charge on just a 2 amp hour battery. 1600 watt peak amps. Definitely interested in this one, but I want to see what the price is going to be on this jump starter. It's got the LED work light there right on the top. But pretty impressed with this one. I think this might be a good pickup in the near future. Especially with winter coming around the corner. It's always nice to have a jump pack. In case your battery goes dead it doesn't look like it's very big also battery fits right in the bottom so nice compact jump pack another Ryobi tool I'll be keeping my eye on now when I seen this I kind of laughed myself a little bit they have the Ryobi two tool combo kit for 100 bucks so this is the per pumpkin carving kit that's how they're marketing it but these are the four volt carver and then the rotary tool. Now I remember when I was young, we didn't have cool tools like this to carve pumpkins. You know, we had to use usually a dull knife or if we were lucky, we got one of those pumpkin kits. Now they got power tools for us to cut our pumpkins up with. So hundred bucks for this one, coming with two tools, the carver and then the rotary tool. And it looks like you get a couple batteries, USB cables. I just thought I'd throw this one in there because I thought it was kind of funny when I was scrolling through all the new tools. Here's another Ryobi tool that I think might be kind of useful uh, for light duty work around the house. Maybe putting together some stools or some furniture, something like that. But they got the 3 8 inch ratchet kit. And this is going to be also with the 4 volt battery. This is coming in at $69. So nice compact, ideal for tight spaces. Got the LED light on there. And then it says the torque on this is up to 140 inch pounds of torque. So like I said, something 
decent for some light duty stuff around the house. Now here's another product by Ryobi, Ryobi, however you want to pronounce it. Does anybody pronounce it Ryobi? Just wondering. I've always pronounced it Ryobi. But anyways, they have their 24 quart hybrid cooler. Now this is probably another product I'm going to stay away from because this is another market that is extremely flooded. They've, there's tons of power coolers out there on the market right now. You can just search Amazon. Uh, this is a 24 quart that they're selling at $499. So overall, not a very big capacity here, 24 quarts. But you can put two nine and a half hour batteries in this and it'll last you 23 hours. Um, nine and a half hour, nine amp hour batteries, pretty big batteries. Um, the biggest I got are four amp hour batteries. Don't really use nine amp hour batteries or any, really anything bigger than the four amps. Um, so if you don't have any nine amp hour batteries, that might be an extra purchase for you if you want to get the full 23 continuous hours of runtime on this. And that total cost is going to be way over $499. But the reason I'll probably stay away from this is because once again, you know, I've done videos on a few different portable car fridges, car coolers, some people call them. Um, here's a Vivor 48 quart. This is a dual zone also. Picked this up on Amazon for $248. So pretty much half the price. Um, and you're getting way more features. You got dual zone, so pretty much you can freeze on one side, use this area as a refrigerator, use this area as a freezer. Ryobi is just 24 quarts, so half the capacity, and it's just one climate zone on there. And this is coming in at $499. These do have batteries that you can install into them too. The battery box is like right around 150 to 200 bucks if you want to buy that separately this rechargeable lithium battery but like i said 248 for 48 quart opposed to a 24 quart and then it's a dual zone i think this market is just a little bit too flooded and uh this isn't really a good pickup so another item i'll probably pass on here's a ryobi Saturn pen kit now this is, I was looking at this, and this might be pretty cool. Like it says, if you're doing some wiring, something like that. Nice, portable, compact tool to be able to solder wires together or something like that. 70 bucks. Now here's something that is another tool that I'm going to keep my eye on. This is the 18 volt one plus. This is the multi-size ratchet. Not sure, tool only, they don't have a price, but if you get the one and a half amp hour battery and charger, this is coming in at 169. This is gonna be compatible with half inch three eighths and a quarter inch drive sockets, along with the hex. So up to 35 foot pounds of torque and up to 260 RPM. So this isn't gonna be an HP. So I'll pull up a quick video here so you guys see this in case you haven't seen it yet. So as you guys see here, it's got this unlock button here and it unlocks the anvil so you can replace the different anvils in there for different size sockets, which I thought was pretty smart. I like this idea. Now when I was looking at this setup, I said to myself, I do wish they would have had maybe a compartment or something to be able to put the extra anvil. Maybe had like a little locking spot here to be able to clip this in, um, design something because... The only downfall, I could see myself losing one of these anvils and then kind of being useless as far as using it for different size sockets. So it'd be nice if they had a little attachment here to be able to lock in your extra anvil. And then it would be nice if they did this in an HP version just to get a little bit more RPM out of it and torque. But other than that, I think this is a pretty cool tool. Looks like they got a couple new vacuums coming out. They got the six gallon. It says coming soon, 199 bucks for the kit. Tool only is 149. Um, I actually own the older model of this six gallon wet and dry vac. Um, looks like they changed where the battery goes 
on this one. So it's got 30% more suction. Well, other than that, pretty looks looks pretty similar to the older model. They also got this three gallon wet and dry vacuum, so nice portable wet and dry vac for the 18 volt setup, 179 for this one. It comes with a four amp hour battery and charger. And it is part of the Ryobi Link modular storage system. So that's another plus if you do have that system. Here's another coming soon tool by Ryobi. This, this is the HP half inch mud mixer. This is the kit for $249. And if you just get the tool, $199. So delivers up to 800 RPMs, six speed, variable trigger. So if you guys are looking for a mixer. So here's another coming soon product. Uh, Ryobi's got their 1800 watt portable power station. Now, if you guys are familiar with their older power station, it was a 40 volt and then you can snap in 40 volt batteries. I think it was like four on each side for their older model. This one actually has a built in 1094 watt hour lithium battery. So this has a built in rechargeable battery on this. So you don't have to use 40 volt batteries like the old one. This is going to be 1,800 running watts, 3,000 starting watts of portable power. Now, I'm not really sure if this is something that I would go with either. Once again, there's a lot of companies selling portable power stations, and depending on what the price of this is going to be, will determine if this is a good pickup or not. Here's another new version of it. This one, instead of taking the 40-volt batteries, it actually takes 18-volt batteries. 1800 watts this one's coming in at 599 dollars 18 volt set up here instead of the 40 volt which i think is a little bit nicer because more people are in the 18 volt power tool line than the 40 volt so once again 3000 starting watts and then 1800 running watts even with the 18 volt gen control app so you can monitor it with your phone so it looks like you can run this off of four or eight 18 volt batteries. They got a uh, runtime set up here off the six amp hour batteries, whether you're running four or eight. So this is what you can run off of it and, and the runtime. So here's the watt hours, depending on what size batteries and how many batteries you use. So definitely pretty cool that Ryobi's come out with different versions of these power inverters. You got the 40 volt, you got the 18 volt. And now they got a power station with the sealed built-in battery. Like I said, it's kind of curious what the price on this is going to be compared to the competition. So that's going to determine if this is a good buy or not. All right, guys. So that's a look at some of the newer products that Ryobi has. Some that are already available and then some that will be coming soon. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. Are you guys excited about any of these tools? that are already out or coming out. Like I said, I'm gonna keep my eye on a few of them. Some of them I'm pretty excited about, some of them not so much. So let me know in the comment section below, guys, what you guys think. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, found it informative. If you did, smash that like button. If you like videos like this, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell, guys. Till the next one, talk to you later.